As scientific interest surrounding the lice epidemics in the Broughton has grown, many university students have found their way to the Broughton to study. And in recent years, the Salmon Coast Research Station has taken form. I arrived at the station with lice season in full swing. For about three months, it is packed full of young researchers. Most of them are here to study biological interactions between lice and wild fish. Each one diving deep into their own specific question through carefully designed experiments. So the question is, is that threshold because of interactions, right? So this will be able to get my name is Larry Dill. I'm a professor at biology department at Simon Fraser University. My specialty is actually uh, animal behavior and behavioral ecology. And I have three graduate students working here in the Broughton Archipelago on the impacts of uh, sea lice on wild salmon. One of my students is looking at how it affects their ability to avoid predators. Another is looking at uh, how it uh, affects their interactions with other species in the system, like sticklebacks and so forth. And then a uh, third student, Brendan, is looking at how the lice on the pink salmon uh, can be transmitted from one fish to another and also onto predatory fish who eat them. Uh, effects on one species can cascade through the system and have impacts on other species which aren't directly affected. The situation we're in right now is that there are still people who uh, remain unconvinced that there's a problem. And so what we're trying to do with our research is to be able to show conclusively one way or the other whether or not there is a problem. Paul Mages and his research assistant, Kevin Swoboda, have been busy for weeks in their little beach shack running their swimming trials. I'm looking at the uh, effects of sea lice on the health and condition of the juvenile pink salmon. Each one of these tubes has one fish in it and we are swimming them to determine their swimming ability and their condition, if you will, their health. What's our time? 30 seconds remaining. In tubes one and four we have fish with no lice and in tubes two and three we have fish with uh, that have lice on them, naturally infested. Tube three is finished. Okay. The fish is exhausted, it hit the grid, and it didn't get back in the game. That was the second infested fish. I want to understand the effects of lice on their swimming performance. Swimming performance dictates how well they can stay with the school. If they can't stay with the school, they probably won't uh, survive very well. One of the controversies in the Broughton has been over where the high numbers of lice are actually coming from. Government researchers have theorized that perhaps a little fish called the stickleback may be a source of the lice, as juvenile Lepitherius lice have been found on them. This has led to the source or sink debate the question of whether or not these stickleback are contributing to the lice population or if they are reducing it. Craig Losas is a master's student from the Simon Fraser University Behavioral Ecology Research Group. He is studying the interactions between salmon, stickleback and lice. So uh, what we've got going on here is um, a simple choice experiment. Um, so what it allows us to do mm -hmm. is introduce a different cue into each arm of the Y tube. Salmon scented water in, in one arm and stickleback scented it in the other arm. And then put a, a louse in the bottom and it can then swim up the current and choose either one. By making by putting them in two separate arms like this we can determine which one the louse prefers because it has to make a distinct choice. Left above, left, left above. Last year, one of Craig's experiments led him to an accidental discovery. He had placed salmon, stickleback, and lice together in a tank to see which fish the lice preferred. But the lice kept mysteriously disappearing from the tanks. He realized that the stickleback must be eating the lice. Next, we are going to see if this stickleback uh, in here with three salmon will actually clean the salmon and um, consume the lice off the salmon themselves. We've run experiments where these sticklebacks actually do consume these lice and that's confirmed by stomach content analysis, but we're looking for some video of this too, so uh, this is kind of exciting to see. So we set out the camera on the tank and waited. 
Later, Craig and I reviewed the footage together. What are these two here? Like, there's two lights there. Is, there, is that a pair? They're, or? they're both, no, they're both adult females. Um, one is just with eggs and one doesn't have egg strings. Oh, nice. So it just took, it's taking bites of the egg strings. And I couldn't tell if it actually took a piece off there, but it's tugging at the... Oh yeah, they're definitely shorter. It's tugging at the egg strings um, of this gravid female. And yeah, they're completely gone now. So it's basically consumed all but a couple millimeters of egg strings that were two or three centimeters long. So what that might mean is that they're removing the most reproductively important um, individuals from the population. Nobody knew about this, but that's that's the great thing about this system is it's it's really hasn't been studied that extensively. Get those egg strings. Brendan Connors is studying a different aspect. He's looking at the behavior of the lice themselves. There's just one single louse in here, and it's on. Oh yeah. Right there. Oh, yeah. So that's a male. That's an adult male louse. And um, what we're starting to do in here is, is understand what factors govern if and when a louse jumps between different hosts. It looks like there's interactions between the male lice that govern how many want to be on a fish. So we're interested in doing this a bunch more times to get a feel for quantitatively what they're actually doing on the, on the fish and whether or not interactions between them limit uh, how many are on there. It's certainly something that, that's common in a lot of other mm -hmm. you know, ecological systems, competition for space. We have this, you know, wonderful set of, you know, now six years of field data that we can then compare the predictions that we might develop from these kind of interactions on a fish to see if they actually hold out in nature. So really, you know, all this stuff is just aimed at getting a better basic sure. understanding sure. of the way that these guys behave. No. <laughs> Hannah McKenzie is a PhD student from the University of Alberta's Center for Mathematical Biology. So basically we're looking at the two different kinds of lice, the Caligus and the Lepiopteris, and we're trying to understand whether they compete with each other for space on the fish or not, or whether they facilitate each other. So maybe um, when they're on the fish they compete for space and so one can't live with the other, and then maybe the opposite, so that if there's some lice already on the fish it becomes easier for the other one to establish. And so part of it is looking at what's going on out in the ocean on real fish that are swimming around, and then the other part is doing some more controlled experiments to try and understand the interactions. So what sort of behavior do you see when the lice jumps on the fish? A lot of head shaking, um, trying to get it off, I think. Because um, it must be like a little irritation, just like if we had something stuck to us, would not be very nice. So just being up here this summer, I've learned a lot. Um, but I think people kind of see a lot of the, you know, charismatic animals above water, like the wolves and the bears and polar bears and everything. So it's easier for people to feel connected with that. Um, whereas a lot of times with things underwater, it's harder to see them. And when you do see them, they look awkward because they're out of water. They're not really in their natural environment. So I think it takes a special person to appreciate the <laughs> underwater world. <laughs> I cannot see, I cannot see. Are you an octopus? Are you just born? 